Fear the doppelganger. Exterior crowded public park day. A bench facing a pond or lake. Michael Hunter, office worker, slightly fat, wearing thick rimmed glasses and a suit in his early 60s, sits on the bench eating some sandwiches. He's watching the other people go by and a couple of children skipping stones across the pond. The reflected light makes ripples on his face. Suddenly, his mouth opens, the food in it falls out, and he drops a sandwich as Linda Grayson, in her late teens, good looking, dressed as a 1960s happy hippie chick in a short caftan, walks by. She smiles as she remembers something. She glances at Michael but doesn't react. There's a hint of the skull beneath her face, teeth beneath the lips. Michael stands up and watches her go as he wonders whether to say anything. She disappears into the crowd. He looks down at his wrecked sandwich and the mayonnaise all down his soup. Interior office building corridor day. Michael goes towards his office trying to remove the mayonnaise with his handkerchief. He meets Phil Harry's male, 30s, a touch creepy, smiles too much, and Pamela Grant, female, early 50s, quiet. You all right? I've just seen a ghost. Well, that's the best start of the week. Anyone you used to know? Uh, an ex-girlfriend of mine. Did you even say hello? She was gone before I could react. Shame. Could have been a whole new Monday afternoon. No, it's for the best. It wasn't her. Not really. It was her as she used to be 40 years ago. Maybe it was her daughter? Yes, maybe. She was wearing a dress. So? It looked just like a dress she used to wear. Fashion goes round and round. I'm waiting for my teenage gear to come back. Hot pants? Wouldn't you just love it? Phil eyes her up and down as Michael goes into his office. Careful. You might get what you wish for. Phil smiles at Pamela, then goes into his office. Interior, Phil's office, day. Phil fires up his email. As it loads, he looks at a clock on the strap bar showing the Pacific time zone. He types in an address and then, maybe it's started. He thinks he's seen Linda. He sends the email. Exterior town, day. Michael gets on a bus. Interior bus, day. He watches the townscape passing by. He whisper sings Magic Bus by The Who. Exterior, Michael's house, day. A nondescript house in suburbia. Michael arrives and walks up to his front door. He's humming distractedly. He opens the door and goes inside. Interior, Michael's house, day. Dull furnishings with little character. Michael puts down his briefcase. He looks at the answering machine. There are no messages. The book, In Search of Schrodinger's Cat, is lying on the table. A whole section of his bookshelves is dedicated to books on quantum mechanics and three-dimensional mathematics together with various Tao physics style books. He pours himself a glass of wine and takes a few sips. He goes up the stairs to the attic. Interior, Michael's house, attic, day. He rummages around until he finds an old photograph album. Interior, Michael's house, stairs, day. He takes the album down the stairs. Interior, Michael's house, lounge, day. He goes through the pictures, starting with him as a baby until he gets to several photographs of Linda, at least one of which she was wearing that dress. He sips at his wine as he stares at the photo. Next to it is a poster for the Isle of Wight Festival 1968. Sound effects, exterior park, 1968. Why not? Michael closes his eyes. The tent needs waterproofing. Transition, exterior, the park, July 1968, day. Young teenagers, Michael and Linda, are walking together through the park. She's wearing the dress he saw earlier. So, we get a bit wet. It's hardly, also hardly what you might call organized. You're being wet even before it starts raining. No, I'm not. I'm just being practical. They've reached a fork in the path. There's a distinctive marker there, a drinking fountain or a signpost. Well, you stay at home and be practical. She sets off down one path. He starts to follow her. She turns and points down the other path. Don't follow me. I'm going to the Isle of Wight. Your home is that way. She walks away down the other path as he stands watching her.